Hey guys, this is your mind for I'm back from another video, and um, I'm back from another commentary video. So um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, something that happened last year in sixth grade with this kid and me, and I'm going to explain why I'm going to be telling the story. So like, uh, so stick around. I'm I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because because uh, yesterday's video was like 17 minutes, so. I'm going to try to keep this a, a video a little long, I mean a little shorter. So, um, yeah. So far, further ado, let's get right into it. So, um, this, uh, it's like I said, this goes back to about sixth grade, like so, like, a, a, a pretty much recently, like a year ago. So, um, at the first a day of sixth grade, and this is like the first time, like I didn't have classes with my brother, so, um. I I didn't have any class with him besides homeroom and specials. So um so like we had our afternoon classrooms different. So like I didn't know uh, that much people in my afternoon classes. So cuz um uh, not a lot of my friends were in my afternoon classes. So uh that's why I I I really didn't know anyone and I didn't really have any friends in my classroom. So um so I meet this kid. Uh he's bigger. Uh, I'm not gonna say fat or anything. I don't want to start anything, but like he's bigger and you know. So let's just call this kid um, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. So um, I'm not gonna use any uh, real names here. I don't want to start anything. So um, so Anthony, I met this kid uh, last year, and he seemed like a pretty cool person to hang out with. He was funny. He was um. He was nice to me, or at least that's what I thought, and, um, yeah, I thought he was a really cool person, I always talk to him, like, um, we always talk about, like, uh, video games and everything, and it was actually, he was actually a pretty chill person, so, um, yeah, so, as, like, the months go by, he starts to get a little annoying, so, um, he came up to me one day, and he was like, Mason and I'm like yeah and he's like uh, guess what and I asked him what and then he literally does this like weird noise and like he keeps on making this like weird noise I can't even describe it but like he's making this like weird noise and um and like it's really really weird and he just kept on doing it to me throughout the entire day I'm like um a Anthony can you please stop like it's getting annoying and then he's like, no, I'm not going to stop. So, um, so yeah, so that's like the first time he annoyed me, basically. So, um, and then I'd say about like, uh, as months go by, he starts to get a little more annoying. And then he comes up to me and he tells me, um, about this uh, person he likes in our class, and it's the same. Uh, uh, she's in all of our classes too, because um, uh, me and this Anthony kid had all of her classes together. He was even in my homeroom, but he wasn't in my specials or anything, so that was kind of good. But but uh, uh, this girl was in our uh, uh, was in all of our classes too, like same situation, but not in our um, uh, but not Amir or his specials. So um. So I'm just gonna not use names here. Let's just call her um, a, a Lizzie or something. So, um, so he likes this girl named Lizzie, and I'm like, "How about you ask her out? Like, uh, how how long have you like liked her?" And he's like, "I don't know, for at least like a month or two, or like uh, something like that." And I'm like, "Well, you should honestly ask her out and see what she says." And she's like, "Well, I don't I don't feel like she likes me." And I'm like, just give you a shot, dude, maybe he might like you. So, and then he's like, okay, and then Anthony's like, okay, I'll try it. So, um, he, so he goes up to the girl and asks, and says that he likes her. And then says, um, who do you want to date with me? She literally says no, and she's like, you're the ugliest person I ever met. Why would anyone want to date you? And then just ripped a fat joke about him. And then he got so mad, he was so upset that day. I, I honestly kind of felt bad for him, but kind of didn't, because he's kind of annoying. So, like, I don't know, he kind of deserved it, but kind of didn't, because, like, 
you kind of feel like shit when you like ask someone out and then like you get rejected so I mean I've been in that situation and he has now since he asked the girl out so um so he got really upset and he actually got kind of mad too and like just calm down it's uh, just calm down it's just the a person there you can ask out more people I'm pretty sure they would say yes so and he's like no she was the only girl I liked and and will be the only girl I liked <laughs> and like I, I was thinking in my head like what the hell does that mean like is is he gonna like do something bad and sure enough he did not like I don't know come to her house or anything but like he made an Instagram account and it was like his personal one so he was texting the girl still and and he was like hey why'd you say no to me and just like basically just like harassing her so and then she and then she tells me that she blocked uh, she blocked him because he was really starting to get annoying and I'm like yeah I, I don't know why he's getting so annoying I used to be like good friends with him but now he's just like really annoying so and she's like yeah I just blocked him on my on my Instagram I'm like yeah he'll probably get mad but like just like I think he'll just forget about it and then she's like okay and boy was I wrong because because the next couple of days like this was during Christmas break keep in mind so we didn't have school so that's why and he literally w wakes me up at like 5 30 uh, just spamming me on Instagram like DMing me and first and for my dumb reason I have my phone on I have my phone on 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 silent I usually sleep with my a, a sleep with my phone on silent or on do not disturb so I don't get texts I do that now because of, of this is what happened so um he starts texting me and he wakes me up at like 5 30 saying hey Mason come I uh, I respond back I need to like tell you something and then like I wake up and he's like I'm like Anthony why the hell are you texting me it's literally 5 30 in the morning I'm trying to go I'm trying to go to sleep it's Christmas break I'm trying to get some sleep in and he's like I don't care I want to tell you that I want to ask you if I should make a new account and uh and try asking our again through a different account and then trick her I'm like so basically like catfishing I'm not I know like catfishing is like a guy pretending to be a girl but like basically just like making an account of like a really hot person and then and then saying that uh and then asking her out and then I guess just tricking her so I guess you could kind of say that's it but not really so um I'm like I don't think that's a good idea because you can get in a lot of trouble for that and that's like harassment he's like well I don't care I I, I knew you were going to say no so I'm just asking to see if you're actually my friend I'm like what I'm I'm I am your friend though, but like you just can't be like making uh, Instagram accounts and just like uh, harassing girls. And he's like, "Well, I don't care. I'm doing it." So he does it, and then the girl texts me again. He's like, oh, oh, "Why is he making? Uh, oh, why is he texting me?" And I'm like, I'm, "I'm like, what do you mean? I thought you blocked blocked him." And he's like, "Well, I I'm pretty sure this is him because he made a new account." I'm like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" I was just that, that that's what I was thinking. I'm like. He made a new account and want to text you. And I said no to it. I completely disagree with it just so like she doesn't hate me. I'm like I I did I didn't even put him up to this, I swear to God. And and she was like, Oh, I believe you and like and like the day we come back to school, I'm literally going to get the print I'm I'm literally gonna get guidance involved with this because this is just like harassment. I'm like, Yeah, I know, I told him this, he didn't listen to me. So so like as we come back to Christmas break, I was expecting like a full on fight, like her yelling at him, but I guess like she was just like really upset that day in school. I asked her what was wrong and she was like, Oh, him and I'm like, Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, um So he literally um uh so she literally took him down to guidance and I guess what happened was like I guess the principal got involved too because like from what he told me, I think he got like ISS or something, which is like in school suspension. You just sit in a room and do your work all day. And um, I never had it before, and I never want it, so that's why I'm a good kid in school. So, um, so like I guess the principal got involved, and he was like, "If you if you keep on texting her, you're gonna get in trouble, and then like you're gonna get suspended from school. First, it's an in school suspension, then it'll be a suspension." I guess that's what he told me, something like that. I'm not exactly, I don't exactly remember what his punishment was, but I think it was in school suspension. So, it's like, um, uh, uh, we literally didn't see him for a day. So, he wasn't even there. 
in my opinion, was the best day of my life because that's like the he, he used to come to every school every other day, like every day to school. So like he had like a perfect attendance. So um, that was like the one day he wasn't like he was in the building, but he, like he wasn't there to annoy me or her. So it was literally the best day of our lives. I literally said to her, "This is gonna be so great," like without him being annoyed, annoying us. And she's like, I know, I'm so excited. So, um, as more months go by, he gets more annoying. And, um, you know, the end of school year, I was so excited to get out of school. And, um, I was actually just really excited. So, I get out of school, and he starts texting me, like, uh, DMing me, and he's like, and he's like, Hey, Mason, what's up? And, like, he just kept on annoying me, saying, like, Mason, are you going to respond to me? And I couldn't respond to him. I, I didn't even want to respond to him because he was so annoying. Like, I literally just wanted to get away from him. Now, I'm ch I'm not trying to sound like a douche here, but, like, I don't know, just, like, a time away from him. So, um, so, like, he literally starts texting me, and he's like, uh, Mason, are, are, you, are you, like, threatening me or something? And I'm like, no, I just told you to leave me alone. He's like, you... You seriously want to fight me? I'm like, I never said I wanted to fight you. He's like, well, stop being a pussy and let's meet and let's meet somewhere. And I'm like, I don't want to fight you, Anthony. Like, I said that. I don't want to fight you. And he's like, let's meet at, um, at, at this park. And I'm not going to say the actual park because that just gives away where I live. So I'm not saying that. And um, he literally uh, uh, gives away the park that he wants uh, me to fight him at. I'm like, no, I'm not fighting you. So I, I just tell my mom, I know about it, and she's like, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell him you don't want to fight. Just make up like an excuse or something. Say you're going up to your dad's and you can't do it. So I literally do that. and He's like, oh, okay. Well, I, I guess you got lucky this time. And I'm like, yeah. So um, and ever since then, I didn't talk to him. And like the last encounter I had with him, I was in geography class in my sixth period class for uh. Uh, uh, for uh, a geography he literally uh, 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 looks into the room because my teacher keeps the door open and he literally smiles into the room and then my geography teacher saw me he's like are you trying to distract my class or something so I, I literally go up to him I'm like hey Anthony um uh, how how face uh, uh how red did your face get and um he literally gave me a death stare and then like and like I was at a baseball game that night like at just like a minor league baseball game, like a Yankees affiliate baseball game, uh, the Rail Riders. So I was there just to watch them. Guess who I run into? Anthony. He literally. So like as we're walking out, the game's over. As we're walking out, I see him. He 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 sees me. We make eye contact, and he literally gives me the ugliest stare I can ever see. So that's like the last encounter I have with him. But like I haven't really talked to him ever since that situation of where he wanted to fight me over the summer. So, yeah, and this is probably, like, a, one of the most annoying kids I ever met, and, like, yeah, so, he is probably going down with a, one of the most annoying kids, so, yeah, so let me know if you guys have ever, like, uh, ran into a kid that's, like, so annoying, and, like, just tell me about it, tell your stories, I'll definitely read your stories, because that's something, like, a way, like, a me and you can connect with each other, like, I make these videos, so, like, I can, like, um, uh, so like you guys can like uh, relate with me and everything so that's why I do that but anyways so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, Twitter and Instagram both at me spheres 2 snapchat penguins fan 2 and yeah all guys see you later bye